Hmm, I wonder what's inside this box. Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, I make puppets. In this video, we'll be making Boxy Boo from Project Playtime. Enjoy. So be sure to check out Puppet Master Academy. I would love to have you as a student and consider joining this channel too for a behind the scene video. So let's learn how to make this box puppet out of a box. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Ah, enjoy the show. All right, so in this video, we will be making Boxy Boo. And for this, you will need a box. A square as you can make or whatever shape you want. And I'm gonna use the big one here. If I fold it down, it's not perfectly square. I'm gonna glue the corners and seal it off. That's what I'm gonna do. Then we'll have a big Boxy Boo. In this video, we're going to be making boxy poo. I'll be using a box for this. Um, yeah, so I'm, you can use a bigger one, smaller one, or whatever you, you want, but I'm going to use this one. And because I want this to be a bigger puppet, we're going to glue the corners and make it one big box. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to seal it off. So just remember your gloves when you're gluing. Now I'm going to trim off the overhang. It is obviously not a box anymore. <laughs> but now we have a box. I'm going to just stand it up like this. I want uh, the box, and we're gonna we're gonna put uh, we're gonna cut out a star, and we're gonna put it on this box here. So I just printed off a picture of a star. We're gonna cut cut it out. So I'm going to trace the star onto a sheet of cardboard. Voila! Perfect star. Now let's just cut it out. Cut it out. Open. Knives and scissors are sharp and pointy, so always cut away from yourself, please. Get someone to help you if you are not confident with knives, or if you're too young. And I'm going to glue that to the front of this puppet. Which is going to be right here. Be careful when you're using hot glue. Please wear gloves. Thank you. We are basically done with the body. The smaller box. So I want to modify it so it's more... So I'm going to cut the top off here, or maybe what if I just did this. Not quite boxy, yeah, actually this is pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this, these flaps down. Glue does not stick on to stickers very well. It does with masking tape pretty good. But not the shiny stuff. That's why I use masking tape. So it's not perfectly box shaped. But I'm going to use this because this is actually just the right width. So I'm going to be using this one and plus it'll be actually a little bit easier to puppeteer. A reduced size rather than one big thing with your hand because that can be very straining. Just like I did with the box, I'm going to seal. So 
All right, so we got ourselves a nice box. Well, it's, I know it's a cube, sh supposed to be cube shaped box, but trust me, when you're using it from the front, no one's gonna tell the difference. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right in half. Move <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be using the saw because it's faster. I would recommend. I'm cutting Foxy's head in half. And I'm gonna just move down a bit. Okay. Well, that was a bit extreme, but. <laughs> I would recommend doing it this way. Now we're going to glue each end off. Actually, I'm going to push on the cardboard down a bit. Because that's where the teeth are going to go. like that. I'm going to glue that. Now what we need to do is we are going to make the teeth. So we're going to take our cardboard and we're going to cut some triangles out of the strip. Watch carefully. We're not going to cut the strip off because we're going to use this. And just carefully cut it from the other side and you should be able to do that. We want six of these. There, like that. Oh yeah. There we go, that's what we're looking for. We should have a shorter one for the sides. We're gonna hang on to these triangle cutouts because we'll be using them for the claws. Then we're going to draw the hand. Got three fingers and a thumb. All right, we work with that. And I'm going to want six of these. So something like that. I'm going to trace and cut out five more. And I am doing the new, no newspaper challenge here. And just make it entirely out of cardboard boxes. And be sure to check out the Huggy Wuggy puppet that I made. It is a very big puppet. each hand and we're going to just stack them by three then that way they won't be so flat. Let's make the feet. All right and then for the feet you can use the little small boxes if you want but I'm just going to make my own. So I'm going to take Four sheets of cardboard the same size. We want to trim them all down to the same size. Okay. And we're going to glue strips onto it to the, to the height that you want it. 
I don't want them. I don't want it to be very big. I want to get them all into the puppet. Now we're just going to glue strips all around. And then we're going to glue the strip on top. Now it makes a small foot for this puppet. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other side and of course we'll cut the, off the overhang or you can leave it on. It could be a claw if you want. Alright, so let's start the paper mache. So I'm mixing one part glue, one part white water, white water, one part water, one part white glue, which is school glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to brush glue onto the surface area so that that tissue paper will stick. And I'm actually using toilet paper for this. You can just paint it all cardboard if you want, but I am a paper mache artist and I'd like to keep it in my style, so I'm doing it this way. Just like that. And you brush glue on top of the tissue, let it soak up. And then you're going to put more tissue over on top of it. You're going to keep doing this till everything covered in about oh two or three layers. And we're going to double stack the triangles to make the claws. Okay, so let's start painting. Okay, for the claws, I'm just going to finger paint them. We're going to glue the claws on. You're going to glue them right on the fingertips. Not on your fingertips. No. On these fingertips. So wear gloves, please. Just like that.
And we're going to do the same thing for the claws, the feet. Alright, so we're going to be preparing our puppet jaw. So, we're going to determine this is going to be at the front. This is where the face is going to be. We're going to cut the two backs off of here so that we can get our hand in. Like this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make sure, so I'm going to glue that here and I'm going to glue a piece of cardboard over it so we, we don't see the hand. And then once we have done that, you want to still be able to get your hand in there. And we're just going to seal off the sides and we can trim off all the excess. And then I'm just going to seal off the sides again. Now we're just going to trim off all the excess. And then we're going to paint that pink, just so that it's a little less obvious. Now we're going to get the teeth on. So I need two short ones and a long one. And we're just going to glue that underneath there. And we want to be able to close his mouth. So we're going to put the bottom long one just spaced back just a little bit. There should be some room for the front teeth to close down. Just like that. We're going to leave a little room. I'll go ahead and glue the three side teeth there. There you go. We can close it now. Ah, and then all the teeth are there. We well, just want to make sure that they are spaced out on the bottom so that the front teeth can close down all the way. Now we're going to add our hinge, which is going to be done with cardboard. We just need to glue some cardboard stri strips on this side and that side. And we're going to glue like this. And it will be connected to both this side on the top and bottom. Just be careful that you don't glue this shut, then uh, it's not a puppet anymore. <laughs> Unless you want to. And our puppet head should be done. For the eyes, I will be using googly eyes again. We're going to take our big googly eyes, we're going to glue them on. You make it out of cardboard if you want. You don't have to use googly eyes. I just might be the daycare attendant, you know. From Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. And I do have some 
some puppets from that game, so be sure to check them out. All right, so let's put our box in a box. Oh, I'm sure liking the color theme here. So we're gonna cut the lid off, but we're not gonna cut the back off because that's where the box will swing open. Now this bath flap, I'm going to hot glue that and that will become permanent. So this uh, flap here. Now we're going to attach the, uh, the, the we're going to attach the pieces. Now for the arms and the legs, I'll be using pipe cleaner. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We're going to shape it into the shape of a spring. You can use slinkies if you have them. I couldn't find any. So I had this idea. And I'll be using the red. And we're going to tie the pieces together. Okay, so once, once you have your pipe cleaner, you're going to take a, a spool, like a toilet paper spool, and just wrap around it. And just like that, you have a spring. Um, I'm going to use something a little smaller. There, like that. So we're going to make a bunch of these. So you're going to wrap it around an object, a round object here. There you go. Sparkly. Sparkling clean. I would recommend slinkies, but I'm going to do it this way just in case you can't get any. There's a cheaper way of doing it. We're going to cut a two-way horizontal door on each side. There you go. So you're going to leave the top part and the bottom part untouched. Don't cut that. The same thing for the bottom. We're going to poke a hole at the bottom of the head. And we're going to glue and then I'm going to glue this to the side of the wall just right in the middle I'm just going to glue this onto the inside and you should be able to get his head out Spring might seem a little small, but hey, this will work. So you can stop there if you don't want to add the limbs, but I'm going to. Because this is Tommy's Puppet Lab. I don't just stop there. 
I'd be ridiculous. We're going to do the same thing with the hands and we're going to glue them on the inside. And we do the same thing for the feet. And I'm going to just attach it onto the inside. I'm actually twisting it onto the other one. We're done. Foxy Boo, kind of creepy and actually kind of cute. I kind of like it actually. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out Puppet Master Academy. See you all next time. Bye bye. This video was brought to you by Puppet Master Academy. Puppet making just got better. Would love to have you as a student, so please visit the website and sign up today. See you there. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend.